हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग टू एवरी वन आई एम टू दीप स्वामी फिजिक्स टीचर एट सूरज स्कूल महंगागढ़ टूडे और टॉपिक विल बी एक्सलेशन सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स इट इज डिफाइंड एज द रेशियो ऑफ चेंज इन वेलोसिटी With time is called acceleration. Dear student, the ratio of the changing velocity with time is called acceleration. Acceleration is equal to acceleration is equal to change in velocity upon time. This is the formula for acceleration. Now, let us consider that a body start to travel with velocity u. So, initial velocity is equal to u, and at any velocity after some time, so final velocity is equal to v, and time. is taken by t so here acceleration is equal to acceleration is equal to change in velocity upon time change in velocity means here final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time Here is final velocity v initial u by t and acceleration is denoted by small a acceleration is denoted by small a so dear students if there is the initial velocity of the object is u and it attain a final velocity v in the time t then the acceleration will be given as change in velocity upon me time here change in velocity means final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time and acceleration is denoted by a so a is equal to v minus u by t this is called acceleration acceleration is a vector quantity acceleration is a vector quantity and dear students vector quantities that quantities which have magnitude as well as the direction si unit of acceleration si unit of acceleration is given as meter per second square si unit of acceleration is meter per second square dear students acceleration is defined as change in velocity and in last lecture we studied that velocity may be positive velocity may be negative and velocity may be zero so dear students acceleration may be positive may be negative and may be zero because it is a defined as the ratio of velocity with respect to time if velocity negative then acceleration negative and if velocity positive then acceleration positive and if velocity zero then acceleration will be zero this is the features of acceleration now how we can say that it is positive or negative we studied that a is equal to v minus u by t if v greater than u then acceleration will be positive acceleration will be positive if v less than u then acceleration will be negative if v is equal to u then acceleration will be zero then acceleration will be zero dear students v is equal to u it means that initial and final velocity are same so initial and final velocity are same then the body is moving with a 
constant velocity it means that velocity does not change with respect to time that is why v is equal to u and if there is a constant velocity then the acceleration will be equal to zero these are the results when the acceleration will be positive when acceleration will be negative and when acceleration will be zero now types of acceleration types of acceleration first is the uniform acceleration if a body change equal velocity if a body change equal velocity in equal interval of time then it is said to be uniform acceleration then it is said to be uniform acceleration if a body change equal velocity in equal interval of time then it is said to be uniform acceleration now non uniform acceleration non uniform acceleration if a body does not change equal velocity in equal interval of time if a body does not change equal velocity in equal interval of time then it is said to be non uniform acceleration it is said to be non uniform acceleration here we studied that if a body does not change its velocity equal velocity in equal interval of time then it is said to be non uniform acceleration now we will study about average acceleration average acceleration it is defined as it is defined as ratio of total change in velocity it is a defined as ratio of total change in velocity with total time with total time that it is said to be average acceleration it is said to be average acceleration if there are two bodies moving in velocity v1 and velocity v2 taking time t1 and time t2 then average acceleration average acceleration will be equal as a1 t1 plus a2 t2 a1 t1 is the velocity of first a2 t2 is the velocity of second so total velocity upon the total time t1 plus t2 this is the formula for the average acceleration instantaneous acceleration instantaneous acceleration the acceleration which is gain by body at any instant of time at any instant of time or we can say that for a short time for a short time is called instantaneous acceleration is called instantaneous acceleration so acceleration instantaneous is equal to limit t tends to 0 del v upon del t this is the formula for the instantaneous acceleration this is the topic of acceleration and type of acceleration my dear students thank you